he thinks that there are a lot of problems in higher education, and he's correct on, on a lot of them. That you there's agree a lot of, with that. There is a lot of waste. He identifies a lot of waste and inefficiency in higher ed. The trouble is that his solution of having the federal government pay for it so that everyone can go to college is, uh, is utter folly. Why? Well, for one thing. The, the most important thing is people need to relate the costs versus the benefits of whatever they do, whether it's buying a car, buying a house, going on a vacation, or going to college. One thing that we're seeing these days is a decline in college enrollments because a lot of people are coming to understand that costs are extremely high, and the benefits are very dubious. Lots and lots and lots of young people have college degrees these days, but they can find no job better than working at Starbucks or driving a taxi, or I saw today nannies. Lots of nannies now have college degrees. Mm. People need to relate costs and benefits. The fact that college costs a lot and has little or no benefit for a lot of people is an important consideration. And that's the, the most important consideration that's eventually going to pop the higher ed bubble, in my view. So to make it free to everybody uh, undoes that, that calculation. Everyone will think, well, gee, uh, since it's free uh, and there might be some benefit at some point in my going, uh, I'll go to college. So we'd have a flood of new people entering college when, in point of fact, what we need is marginal students who are now going ought to be rethinking it as they are.